Hello friends. In last lecture, we have discussed about the filtering design in the frequency domain, and mainly we have discussed in that about the Butterworth filter design. So let's discuss one more example for the filter design using Butterworth approximation. So in this, consider an ECG signal which is sampled at 1000 Hz and it is having high frequency noise and our problem is to design a digital Butterworth low pass filter with cutoff frequency as 80 Hz and as mentioned that signal is sampled at 1000 Hz Therefore, the sampling frequency Fs is 1000 Hz and it is given that the order of filter is 4. And because we have to design a digital filter, so we are using bilinear transformation assuming T equal to 1 second. So we know the basic Butterworth low pass filter function is given by this formula HA. A represents again the analog filter because we can't we are not designing the digital filter in directly we are first creating its prototype that is analog low pass filter and then finally we will convert that analog into the digital approximation so this equation number four basically gives the fin function for an analog filter design so it is H A J omega omega here represents the analog frequency. Magnitude square of that is equal to 1 by 1 plus in brackets J omega by J omega C omega C. Here is the cutoff frequency in radians raised to power 2 n. n is again as I mentioned the order of the filter. Now what we have to do is we have to first calculate this HAS which is again the function in Laplace domain. Laplace means G omega is nothing but S. S here represents the Laplace domain. And the poles of this squared function are located with equal spacing around a circle of radius omega c in the S plane with symmetrical distribution on either side of the imaginary axis. And the pole positions are given by the formula you can see equation number 3 sk which is nothing but pole equal to omega c that will be the we can see the radius around a circle exponent j omega in bracket 1 by 2 plus 2k minus 1 by 2n here k is nothing but depending upon the poles it is running from 1 to up to 2 into capital N, N is the order of filter. So, the condition is for a stable and causal filter, only we have to consider the poles which are lying on the left half of S plane. That means only capital N number of poles we have to consider. And then the transfer function corresponding to analog filter is obtained as because we have calculated the poles, so A divided by, you can say S minus P1, S minus P2 up to S minus Pn. What is A here? A is a gain factor which is used to normalize the DC gain. We can say the gain when S is equal to 0, it should be unity. So we have to use A accordingly. Now, once we are done with the analog filter, that means we have designed the filter in S domain. Next step is to convert the digital filter and because here it is that we can do either using bilinear transformation or impulse invariant. So we know different formulas, but because here we have to use the bilinear transformation, so we will use bilinear transformation and for that the equations we know for bilinear transformation you can use equation number 5 that means we have to replace S by 2 by T which is given to us 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. And finally then we can get, you can see this HZ. And for stability, 
all poles of hz must lie within the unit circle in the z plane and also we should know the relation between the continuous time frequency variable as i mentioned analog frequency omega and the discrete time frequency in z domain that is this variable you can see again this omega so we have the relation using in bilinear we have this analog domain is equal to analog frequency is equal to 2 by 2 2 by t tangent this digital uh, frequency or frequency in the discrete domain divided by 2 or we can write other ways so this is equation number 6 similarly we have relation in the impulse invariant method but here we have to use bilinear so we will concentrate on equation number 6 now let's start <clears throat> then finally we'll get hz again a dash here is the gain which we have to make like why we are using that gain because we want magnitude of hz to be 1 at dc that means where z is equal to 1 remember for laplace domain we are considering at s equal to 0 and for digital we are considering it is z equal to 1 so now let's discuss about our problem so what is given to us is that we are given with the cutoff frequency 80 hertz and sampling frequency of 1000 hertz so first step is that we have to compute omega c which is means uh, the frequency corresponding to digital domain or we can say cutoff frequency in the digital domain so if you keep these values so 2 pi 80 by 1000 it is coming out to be 0.16 pi radians per second so after calculating this cutoff frequency in digital domain now because we are designing the filter in analog domain so we have to convert this cutoff frequency in digital domain that is this omega c to analog cutoff frequency in the analog domain again we are using the formula based on bilinear transformation because it is mentioned in the question that we are using bilinear transformation if it is mentioned that we have to use impulse invariant, invariant so accordingly this formula will be changed so for now if we are using this formula for bilinear transformation we will use 2 by t t here it is given as 1 so tangent of this cutoff frequency in the digital domain by 2 if you will keep these values so it is coming out to be 0 0.513 513 radians per second now what is the next step next step is to determine the location of poles as we have seen what is the equation to determine the pole it is the poles it is given by this sk so we'll keep the value of omega c because we have already calculated and another variable is k and k will run from 1 to 2 and n is what it is given to us that the order of the filter is 4 so k will run from 1 to 8 but one more thing what we have to remember is that we have to come out of these eight poles we will consider only four poles which are lying on the left half of the s plane so if you calculate this actually by keeping this n equal to 4 and this omega c in analog domain is equal to 0.513513 radians per second so we will get the poles that are located at angles 5 by 8 pi and 7 by 8 pi and their corresponding conjugate positions and they are lying on the left half of the s plane so by keeping these values of angles and omega c you will get the coordinates of the pole of interest which is obtained as you can see minus 0.196513 plus minus j 0.474424 and these are two conjugate poles z1 z2 you can assume or p1 p2 and we have another two poles which are again the conjugate pairs point minus 0.474424 plus minus j 0.196513 so this will give us the four different poles and from that we can obtain the transfer function in analog domain that is this transfer function is now for analog filter and it is HAS which is given as 
point zero six nine five three. In denominator, we have this first term. If you see, this is for the first two zero poles, and next term, if you see, it is for next two poles. So we have combined the two poles, conjugate poles, into one equation. So it is first is s square plus point three nine three zero two six s plus point two six three six nine five. This is one term which corresponds to two poles, conjugate poles, and another is s square. Plus 0.948848s plus 0.263695. So these are the four poles. So this is how we have obtained the analog filter equation. Now our motive is to calculate or determine the digital filter. So what is the next step? We have to convert this analog prototype filter into Digital filter, and for that we have to substitute S as 2 by D, 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. Why we are using this? Because it is mentioned that in this we have to use the bilinear transformation by keeping T is equal to 1 second. So if we substitute this, and finally if we simplify the equation, you will get the transfer function HZ, it is given by this. So this is like a dash if you see 0 0.002235 this we have assumed by keeping z equal to 1 and then we have seen that mod of hz should be equal to 1 and we have calculated this a dash factor. So the final equation is 0 0.002235 into 1 plus z inverse raised to power 4 and in again in denominator you can see first factor is for two poles another factor is for another two poles so it is 1 minus 1.47979 z inverse plus 0.68868 z inverse 2 and another is again 1 minus 1.21281 z inverse plus 0.384 z inverse 2 try to at least take up to 5 or 6 decimals fine right? So this is how we can obtain or we can design a digital filter. So this was all in this lecture. Thank you so much.